that it is our policies that are enabling China to use cartels to exploit an open border to kill Americans? And do they care? Not in the slightest bit. Then I watch my colleagues on both sides of the aisle, frankly. Today we spent all day, almost 12 hours now, I guess probably eight hours. <laughs> Offering amendment to the NDAA. Not one of those amendments that we voted on today Not one. allowed us to address and debate here on the floor of the House of Representatives the drafting of our daughters, the drafting of our mothers, the drafting of our sisters, the drafting of our wives. Not one amendment today was allowed by a Democrat tyranny in the Rules Committee to allow us to have a substantive debate on the floor of the House of Representatives about it. issue as important as having the United States government conscript women. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Can you imagine a body that is called the people's house having an environment in which we pass legislation as part of an $800 billion defense authorization bill that had some 400 amendments mm. we didn't even debate on the floor of this house
We didn't even debate. The drafting of women. Hmm. And more than half of my... Colleagues on this side of the aisle said, oh, sure, why not? <laughs> why? Because they sit there and they say, well, don't worry, the draft will never occur. Well, don't worry, if the draft does occur, it'll be because we have some real bad conflict with somebody like China. I'm like, well, which is it? You got to have the draft in order to deal with a bad conflict with China or there'll never be a draft. Oh, well. Okay, there'll never be a draft, but if there is, it'll be a bad conflict with China. But trust us, don't work. Okay. Your daughter won't be drafted into combat. Really? Trust us? <laughs> and what do you should I trust the government of the United States? Why would I do that? The same government that just abandoned. Allies abandoned Americans abandoned SIVs in Afghanistan lost eighty five billion dollars of equipment for the Taliban to exploit it allowed China to be able to get access to Bagram Air Force Base, walked away from rare earth minerals. The same government that is completely ignoring their duties to enforce the borders, knowingly looking at
Mm-hmm. <sighs> 